time it out for you right now on future forecast. Again, just very scattered activity through the noon hour. See by four o'clock how it becomes more widespread. It's still rather light though. The freezing line staying north of our area, so we don't have to worry about any snow today. Winds anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Winds going to really ramp up as we go throughout the overnight. Notice anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour. We could see wind gusts top 40 miles an hour at times, not just tonight but also for your Saturday and even into your Sunday. It will stay on the windy side, so we'll keep on and off showers through the early overnight and watch the, as some of these darker shades pop up. I do think through the overnight into your Saturday morning, some of these heavier pockets of rain could certainly move into our area. Maybe a rumble of thunder wakes you up on Saturday morning. We'll continue with rain showers for the first part of the day on Saturday. I do think this computer model does bring in the cold air just a touch too soon. Maybe Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County will see that changeover in the morning, but I think most of us spend the morning hours as rain and then it will be the afternoon when that changeover happens. But again, look at these winds 20 to 30 miles an hour gusting over 40 at times. Then through Saturday afternoon, while although it becomes more scattered, we still have that rain snow mix potential and then overnight Saturday through the morning on Sunday. This is when we have that. I think the, the most icing potential uh, freezing rain as we continue with, as you can see all of us in that rain snow mix, we continue with the winds and then all the way into your Sunday morning as well. Then on top of that, by Sunday morning, as we wrap in the colder air, this is where we can see the snowfall accumulations. It won't be a lot, a slushy couple of inches for our northern counties. That's about it. The bigger accumulations further up to the north. What's it going to accumulate for us? The rain. Check this out. Two to three inches when everything is said and done by Monday morning for most of the viewing areas. So the storm timeline again quickly recapping rain becomes more widespread, but not heavy yet. They'll be more heavy in the Saturday morning time frame. Rain will then mix to snow through the afternoon and then uh, by Sunday. That's when we have that icing potential as we watch some freezing rain mix in by Monday morning. I think all of us see snow, but it will be very light and most of us not seeing any accumulation with that except maybe our northern spots, a slushy inch or two. So here's your seven day forecast. Again, that mess as we go through the weekend uh, goes to all flurries by Monday morning. We get a dry day on Tuesday and then the rain and snow. Yeah, it's back as we head through the day on Wednesday, Katie.